Hey guys, how's it going? I wanted to show you my maximal power universal battery charger that I'll be selling and just to show you that it works and how it works kind of thing. So I bought this a few years ago and it's really not been used. I've used it like a couple times. Um, but I'm going to upgrade it to something that charges lithiums. So there's the unit. I'll plug it in and show you how it works. Uh, it comes with the box. I still, I keep all my boxes, so, and obviously the AC adapter and the manual. So those all come with it. And I think I paid like 35 for $40 a couple years ago. I think they're still for sale for like 35. Um, anyway, so I will have this on eBay, Facebook, and Craigslist. And you can just see how it works now. Oh, before I do that, I want to show you. Um, this cracked, this lid, this lid's not necessary. I actually thought about just busting it off and not having it, but then, you know, someone might not want it. But um, it had a crack in it, so I put some plastic, like, model glue on there, super glue. So it made it kind of white, but it's, it's fixed, so it works now. Anyway, so plug it in. I'll zoom in, let me zoom in so you can see it better. Okay, so this charges, uh, charges NICADs, it has a switch here, so you switch it to the battery type. You can't mix and match them, so um, I haven't tried that. You probably don't want to try that. I don't know if it'll explode your batteries, probably will or something. So anyway, NICAD, uh, nickel metal hydride, I think they're called, N-I-M-H, nickel metal Hydride. Yep, that's what they are. So I have one of each of these. And it also charges alkaline batteries. Um, the one thing with the alkaline batteries is I definitely don't put expired ones in there. I don't know what the date on this one is. Um, but I don't really use it for that because I have so many rechargeables that, I mean, so I can't really say how well it charges the alkaline. But it's got the switch for alkaline right here. So it holds double A's, triple A's, it holds uh, nine volt, as you can see there, that just, so put it to alkaline, that just snaps down here like this. And I think I charged that one already. I think I plugged that one in. Oops. So you gotta put it in like the battery. I don't know how that works, but anyway. There we go, sorry. Just takes a little bit of practice. <laughs> I never do nine volts either. I mean, who uses nine volts other than uh, for smoke detectors? So the nine volt, I just wanna point out, doesn't display on the screen here. It just is this light right here. So red means it's charging and then it'll turn to green when it's done. So taking that out, um, the alkaline, I'm still on there. So these go in this way. So it'll say, sometimes it says discharging. So I think some batteries it needs to discharge first and then charge. So that one's low, so it's charging that. Switching it to nickel metal hydride. I keep forgetting how to say that. And then you pull this back. Oh, there we go. Takes a minute sometimes. So charging. And then nickel, or yeah, nickel cadmium, 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 nickel, whatever, NICAD, I call them NICADs. So, so that one where it says discharging, and then it'll be charging. I think that one I 
was playing with earlier. So anyway, there it is, uh, the maximal power model number FC999, and I'll put the links to eBay, uh, I think I can link, well, if you're local, you'll see it on Facebook and then uh, Craigslist. So hopefully have a great day and take care.